Jesus, when you speak to me, I hope I'm listening to you. I had been really loving walking out, being a uh, part time stay at home dad, part time chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> And so in that time, like I was really loving spending time with Ava Noel and Landon. And I, I was convinced, like without a doubt, that I'd be single the rest of my life. And I was perfectly okay with that. Matter of fact, scripturally, I was always like, I'm bored with what Paul, Apostle Paul said about that. And so um, I, I knew though, I was like, is that what you want from me, God? And, I, and I was like, maybe it's not. So even though my heart was like, I'm doing well, I said, God, I said, surrender my heart to God. I said, whatever you want, God, you just need to bring something in my life. You just need to be really present. Like, you need to tell me exactly, show me exactly. Otherwise, I'm just not, I'm not going to see it. It was shortly after that, after I surrendered, um, I was in my bedroom and I heard the name Abigail spoken. And not once, but twice. And I think that was good because I'm like, first off, like, what just happened? Secondly, I got no, I don't want a relationship. But my heart was surrendered and I just, okay, I don't know what this means, but I knew, um, I knew it was her. I knew it was her and I began having some dreams and interpreting those, I had like, I had no idea. All I know is that I can't go to sleep at night without thinking of somebody that I, I don't even know, like, how is this going to work? And so I, I remember going to my friends, Beth and Matt, and, and they said, we should go talk to her. So I'm like, that's exactly what I thought I was supposed to do, but I'm not sure I really wanted to do that, but <laughs> I did. So I went on July um, 4th of last, of 2015, and I spoke to them and just told my heart, and I remember specifically, we prayed, I remember it was really peaceful, it was a really nice time, I remember specifically they said, do you want to date our daughter? Uh, Brian asked that, do you want to date our daughter? And I'm like, I don't think so, I just know that I just want to listen to God and be obedient on this. So whatever that is, I know she's leaving for California. Whatever that is, I'll just, I want to be obedient. And so it created space though for us to be able to get together. And so we did. Yeah, and my part in this was I was in a place too of I'm not seeking a relationship, I'm moving. I was in a season of just being completely surrendered, really excited with entering into my journey with God and our story together and the dreams and visions he'd given me from his word about the broken and the oppressed and his heart for them, his heart for unity with the church. And so I was just like, okay, God, I'm all in for whatever you want, but I wasn't looking for a relationship. And so when I heard that he'd been hearing my name and having dreams, I was shocked, honestly, and thinking, okay, I don't know if the timing's really right for this, but also just feeling really loved by God because I go by Abby all I have all my life. And so him hearing the name Abigail, Abigail is like my special name with God. And when, when people use it, I just feel really loved and treasured. And it means source of joy. And joy is something since I was 18 that I've really asked God for. What does it mean? What does the joy of the Lord actually mean? And so that he heard joy and that he had peace for in regards to me. I've also asked for peace in my life. and. So those two things, I just felt loved, and I felt so much peace, even though I had no interest. <laughs> and so the times we got together were, I can only say, were the most peaceful times I'd ever had. And one time and specifically, we got together right before I left, the day before I left. Which, you think that scenario, here you have this guy, hearing your name, having dreams, you should think, wow, that would be really uncomfortable. And I, it was perfect scenario for anxiety, but I felt so much peace and was just surprised with what God was sharing with him. And I didn't have any interest. I said, we need to, I don't want to talk for the next four months. We can connect in December. The verse that perfectly describes where I was at in the moment is from Isaiah and it says, you will go out with joy and be led forth with peace. And that's how I can best describe where, where I was at at that moment. When she left, I remember specifically like, wow, we had some 
great, even though it was just a few times, we had some great like conversations. Some of them were like three or four hours long and mm -hmm. just really fun. But emotionally it was neat because both of us were just like, no, no emotions in this, just what does God have for it? God had shown me quite a bit. Um, he'd shown me there was more than just a relationship, like a friendship, but at the same time like God, I'm just gonna just be obedient to you and you just lead this, the whole thing out because I, I'm i perfectly comfortable being single. I don't I don't need to be married. You know, I don't need a relationship. I don't, whatever, I just, I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable with that. And so there was freedom in just giving that space for her over those next four months, um, which was really beautiful actually. Mm -hmm. Even though it was hard as those four months went on, it was a challenge. I was like, wow, I'd really like to connect and, talk or whatever but it was it was the space was needed um, for both of our hearts really and for my heart it was like I was deep I was praying a lot I was in the word a lot it was, it was just a really personal time for me connecting with God during this during those four months and in the word and just in and honestly like just in quiet time prayer with God and it was there was also a really good space for me connecting with the kids and really just deepening my roots with them during that time, so I actually had a lot of fun during those four months, even though I'm back on my was like, I wonder what God's gonna do next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was thinking the same thing in California. I was completely involved with where I was at and really excited with what God was showing me and honestly not thinking about Him much at all, except for the fact of like, okay, December's coming really soon. God, you need to tell me. And it approached and I still hadn't felt anything besides peace and I'm still not interested and so I remember thinking okay we will connect in December and I really don't think it's going to go anywhere and I see myself coming back here again and so we did get together in December and I communicated that and he said well until God shows me something different are you saying no I'm, I'm still here and I'm just completely surrendered and in those conversations I realized that we had a lot in common and we had a lot of fun and I loved how he did life with God and loved people wherever he was at and so I was, I was starting to become engaged and really felt a shift especially on New Year's Day when we went out on our first date thinking I actually can't say that I know for sure what's going to happen and I really felt an opening that I hadn't had before so that by the end of Christmas break I told him it was okay that he'd come out and see me and I told him that yes we can talk now. So that was fun because <laughs> during that time I was like wow god that, that's amazing like it was just out like it just almost like water just bubbling out of the ground like all these things started happening we were able to, to have great conversations and Skype and um, thank goodness for Skype. <laughs> it's just great. And um, through the phone and 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 then looking forward to that time coming out in March was that was transformational. Like God had really laid on my heart that something really powerful was gonna happen on her birthday. And actually I'd forgotten about that. I remember that um, in December or January ish, somewhere in there that I'd heard that, like specifically her birthday, but it wasn't until we're her birthday that I, and looking back, they actually remembered that God had said, yeah, something's gonna happen on the date on the birthday. And that's what happened. So mm -hmm. on uh, her birthday, she was finishing a class and uh, called Firestarters, and it was a really cool class. And it was just people that were getting together and praying and working through like how to pray with the community and, and, and groups and just like, doing just outreach programs and things like that. And just really um, showing God's love with others. And I, um, she invited me to come mm -hmm. to the class and in that invitation at the very end like I had a strong intense encounter with God that I've never had before and I, I felt like my heart was open to just receiving and I was like wow I don't think I've I've never received like this before and also just kept receiving more and more and um, <laughs> it went on and on it seemed like mm -hmm. and, and to me it seemed like maybe a moment in time but I, I knew like later I'm like wow I was it, it, it was several hours, mm -hmm. really. And God showed me like just how to honor her and to love her. And I remember specifically like that word was really powerful mm -hmm. that day. Yeah, and in that space, I really was just letting him have, he was just in this and he, 
he was just encountering God and he was just feeling the presence of God so strongly that we were just sitting in the car and I honestly think he even knew really where he was, but he was praying over me and he kept on saying honor, like, I want to honor you and all the days of my life and in that moment I was thinking, wow, this, he he's allowing God to just work in him in such a deep level and it, t it takes humility <laughs> and I knew in that moment that I loved him and not in the emotional caught up in passion and it was this feeling of wow this is God's love and mm -hmm. I love him and I know that this is the man that I want to spend the rest of my life with mm -hmm. and so there was a complete shift in my heart to before I had no idea what was going to happen I couldn't I would never have guessed that my I could have changed in that moment because I'm slow mover but with God anything is possible and his path lead to peace and this was this was so peaceful for the love of God No wedding. No wedding <laughs> to a wedding like like that, like in an instant. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like I was like, wow, God, where did how did all this happen? And it was just beautiful. And and knowing then to explain that to people mm -hmm. even was like a challenge. And one of the reasons we wanted to show this little video because it's like how do people how do you walk through that? Well, the verse for me, the peace of God that surpasses surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The part of that is without with the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. All understanding, like we can't understand how mm -hmm. fast God can move. We I can't understand it. I can't understand how like we're getting like mm -hmm. married. Like that just doesn't even make sense in the outside. But God is basically just lined up and if you were to say, Oh no, let's go a different way, it's like well, he's like you're gonna miss the best time of your life. Mm -hmm. so, so after March sixth, we had so much peace. And felt confirmed by God that we were going to get married and as I planned on moving home and Michael went back from his trip to California we had continued confirmation through our parents through family members close friends the word marriage counseling every step of the way God kept on confirming yeah it was really it was really powerful those those next the next month or two after mm -hmm. that because for so many people it was so sudden and it was like us it's like it's just exactly what mm -hmm. god wants us to do it's a plan for us but to share with other people and to feel that confirmation was huge and as we planned began planning the um the wedding itself our both of our hearts desire was to have a kingdom marriage and mm -hmm. that was just beautiful and, and just what we felt on that and then to go into a what we're like, why wouldn't we want to do a kingdom wedding? And so um, to us, a kingdom wedding is, is just that outpouring of God's love to all, mm. not leaving anyone out, just to all people. And so that extends even beyond just our family and friends. Mm -hmm. um, so there may be people here that have never, hardly know us, and that's actually a heart's desire. Mm -hmm. um, not just today for this this marriage day, but for the rest of our lives, to be able to uh, be a beacon of God's love to all. And an example of this is found in the parable in Luke 14, where the invitation is extended to everyone. He, the Lord of the house says, go out to the highways and the byways and bring everyone in so that the hall is filled. And so that's to us a picture of what we wanted here today. Jesus, your love is so amazing, and this joy.